Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Madam Hooch. Hooch. And yeah, they try to get the same cinematography as the movie. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. Alright. Someone didn't read the script properly and leave some space. You see before you a course well, comprising. I, I just noticed rings. that. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Have you actually noticed that there were two models of Harry? Begin. Yeah, like where I was standing, like I was standing like over there or something. Um, there was actually another model of Harry. I never actually noticed that before, but there were two different models of Harry. The one standing model and of course the other model being the Harry that would eventually fly the broomstick. I don't know. I would have to freeze frame on that and see if I saw that correctly. And yeah, we just simply fly through these rings and it's pretty easy to 100% um, this without right. the need to... Now for the examination where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get 100% uh, with this grade even if we miss a few rings. So yeah, this is pretty much just to practice our flying and whatever and what well, we don't really... You missed a ring. Well, we don't really play much Quidditch in this game. We do play Quidditch at least once. And uh, even when I was uh, testing out this game, I still haven't played Quidditch yet. So I hope that's not the one part of the game that's not going to work. Eek. And yeah, these reins are getting smaller. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Lying around like a maniac, but I definitely need to practice if I'm going to... Face off against a bully later. That's a few you've missed, Potter. Thanks for Captain Obvious. Ah, no, that's more than enough that I'm missing. Well, let's at least get An fifty. Outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade. A distinction. There we go. Well so we've one hundred percent in this already. We don't have to do it again. Potter, come over here. So when we get a distinction, that's one hundred percent. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Long yeah, earned like fifty. That's more than a few. All right, Neville, give it a go. Oh, oh, Mr. 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 Longbottom. Wow, brilliant animation there, guys. Really brilliant animation. Definitely not stiff. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right. Up you get. Gee, you sound worried. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come oh. on, dear. But then again, she never really did sound concerned at all. She seemed to be the type of strict did you see teacher. His face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy. No. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Holy shit, the voice acting is terribly delivered. I mean, the voice acting in this game is not terrible. It's just it can have very bad direction. Like, sometimes there's no periods, or sometimes there's, like, too many periods, um when the characters talk, but just simple line deliveries like that between Harry and Malfoy is just pretty terrible. And there we go, we've already completed this already. Awesome. That was actually very damn easy. Because I think I did a full lap when I was testing this out the first time. In fact, um, when I was testing it out um, quite recently, Don't think this is the it's my very second Potter. time playing this game. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want, Wizard's Duel. What's the matter? Never heard of a wizard's duel. Of course, yes. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Ones only. No contact. So yeah, this is actually in the book, um, the wizard duel. And here's Hedwig. How you doing? Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? <gasps> I want to hear all about your first day, Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. All right. 
So yeah, the wizard duel that Malfoy was talking about in his challenge in Harry 2, that is actually in the book. Now, they didn't include it in the movie, and they just simply uh, changed it up to where, um, um, of course, Harry gets elected as being um, seeker for the Gryffindor team. And, of course, what happens later on is that... Um, uh, is that the staircase changes, which uh, forces Harry, Ron, and Hermione to go to the third floor. However, in the book, the reason why they go to the third floor in the first place is because of the wizard duel that Malfoy challenged Harry into, or pretty much uh, bullied Harry into. And yeah, this is actually following closer to the book with the wizard challenge. Alright, let's see Hagrid. Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey, Ron. Somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen. Believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Yeah, something that we never actually seen. And yeah, she says, um, if you do a Boundary Break episode on Philosopher's Stone, definitely see how the heck they pull off the visual Hagrid, effect with the moving picture. Potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering around at night. Then again, there are some pretty fearful things in here during the day. Eh, you're not safe any time during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. Okay, so yeah, I could have probably got the lost and found item, like, right here when I did the flying practice and came here. So I kind of wasted some time, but what the heck. So you ready to get our potion ingredients, Ron? What? Come on. So yeah, we can end the day right here, but we don't have to. We can actually go and collect our potion ingredients, so this is completely optional. We can either end the day or just collect the potion ingredients and be done and over with. Now, I don't think it's possible to collect every single potion ingredient as of now. There's some areas that are blocked off, like this is uh, one area that we'll eventually go to eventually, and what the hell? Uh, yep, definitely a glitch. You see a bunch of trees there? And all the trees disappeared. And all the trees disappear. So yeah, there's definitely some graphical errors. And we need the Defendo in order to get into here. We need Incendio in order to get into here. And yeah, there's just a lot that we need to do. And this is for another spell that we'll learn later on. So... Yeah, I think it's only possible to get at least one of the three potion ingredients as of now. But, um, just so it's out of the way, I'm gonna get the potion ingredient right now while I'm at it. Yuck! Oh, Sprout! Fishy! Sardine! Mm. Yeah, Definitely. sardine. Mm. I never actually tasted sardine. I don't even know what sardine tastes like, but I'm just going to take everyone's word for it that I'm going to probably puke when I first taste it. Never actually had sardines. Now, that doesn't mean give me a sardine when uh, when you first meet me or something like that. Mm, coconut. Spinach flavor. If I want to puke, then I just simply get an emetic. Mm, marmalade. Curry. Mm, curry. Mm, coconut. Coconut there must and be curry. Here somewhere. Maybe I should try using the Lumos spell. Okay, we'll use that later. So we'll crawl through here because I think there's a wizard card right here. And yeah, I think this is another area. Yeah, see, that's uh, one of our potion ingredients right over there. So yeah, that's one of our potion ingredients that we have to get. But because we have to learn a particular spell in order to get to the d through the door down there. Yeah, we can't just simply climb over oh, the fence. Alright, seems like a villainous, um, famous wizard. 
probably not even a human being. Come on, drop down, Harry. So yeah, until we learn, um, yeah, come on. What? I can't drop down, seriously? Okay, well, I'll go down here, so yeah. In order to get the one potion ingredient that we need, we're gonna need a spell in order to get in here. And we'll need another spell to get another, um, potion ingredient. But let's just get this one potion ingredient out of the way so it's done and over with. And we can end the day, go to Fred and George's shop, hopefully buy out all the wizard cards that are in Fred and George's shop, and get that mission done and over with. And, yeah, just have to be on the lookout for any chests or wizard cards or anything. Okay. And... Chess, uh, we need some health anyway. A cauldron cake. Okay. Continue on. So yeah, this is actually quite interesting. Considering that this was not in Chamber of Secrets, it's pretty nice to see that they took the time out of their hands to, uh, try to make this look more unique than Hogwarts. Like, make it look more like it's in the wild as opposed to just having everything uh, be in, like, uh, straight box, cube lines and whatever. Like, uh, like there's kind of a lack of, like, uh, realism. But then when you go here, there seems to be a lot more um, uh, realistic curves and nature um, areas. And I really like it. I really like this area and how... It seems to be very different compared to all of the rest of... Oh, God damn it! All the rest of Hogwarts, and yeah. These gnomes, um... Uh, we can actually, um... Not necessarily fight up against, but, uh... We can throw around in Chamber of Secrets, and we could do it as a part of a... Little bit of a mini-game. We could either do it as the chores, which is a mandatory, um quest at the start of Chamber of Secrets where we're clearing out the the gnomes from uh, Ron's garden. Or we could um, optionally throw them into the lake just for fun or we could throw them through magical hoops and it, it pretty much gives us wizard cards. And there we go. So... I forget how to open that chat or uh, go in there. Uh, not yet, Harry. I did not want to go up here yet. Okay, so jump over here. Yeah, let's open up this chest. Get this chest um, out of the way. Right, come on, step out. Step. Okay. Oh, uh, what the hell? No. Are you serious? Come on! No! Are you serious? No! Ah, oh, why? Am I just a pixel off or something? Well, let me try that again. There we go. So yeah, this game is definitely buggy. There's a few bugs here and there. In fact, you probably have noticed a few of them beforehand. A wizard card. There we go. Alright, so one wizard card down, and we just came from over there. Now let's just uh, make sure there's nothing else over here so we can have a nice little bath. Totally pointless, and uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else around here, so let's just uh, jump onto here, and I don't think we can open that just yet. So we just have to be a little patient. No. Ah, Harry. And where did it go? There you go. Yeah, pretty simple. And there's our first potion ingredient. So that should be Asphodel, right? So yeah, oh no, that's the, uh, oh yeah, that is Asphodel, okay. So yeah, that's our first potion ingredient, and more gnomes appear, and I believe we just have to get rid of those gnomes in order to get that one treasure chest. Again, completely optional, but as I said, I want to try to get all wizard cards, and I want to 100% this game as much as possible, so let's kill some gnomes. Or not kill them, but be cruel to them, just for the sake of being cruel.
you know, animal cruelty for the win. Bye. Hope you enjoy whatever is down that hole. If it's Wonderland, then invite me along because I want to be on acid without actually having acid. All right. So yeah, pretty repetitive process for the most part, but what do you expect out of a licensed game, right? All right, one more gnome. No, Harry, not up there. Come on. Seriously, you're eating what you've already ate before, Harry? Vomit flavor. Yeah, vomit flavor. What do you expect? That's the... That's something that you've had, so obviously it would taste like vomit. Because it's essentially your own vomit. Alright, so once we open this chest, then we're going to end the day. A wizard card! Hooray! So... Okay, so I think that's uh, the villain uh, for King Arthur, so yeah. So yeah, I, I kind of like how they try to add little details um, within this game, you know, such as this rope and all this sort of stuff, but it's such a shame that most people would probably miss all these individual details. But then again, that's not uncommon in pretty much any game that exists. So yeah, there's nothing else for us to do. Um, I pretty much collected everything we need to collect, and we can't get any of the other potion ingredients as of now. So yeah, let's end the day. We got our first potion ingredient, so good. And yeah, we essentially see what the, the four houses have, and yeah, pretty much Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw are no threat to us whatsoever, and... Because it's easy to collect all the shields and you can't lose points in this game, it seems very impossible or very hard to actually lose the the house cup, or at least from what I know. So the only threat to you is obviously Slytherin. So yeah, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff pose no threat whatsoever. They're just there for the filler purposes of, well, because they exist in the books, they have to exist in this game as well. And then we appear in a skylight box, and now we're going to be doing our first nighttime mission. Awesome. Or second, that is.